So team, keep it clean. First off, good morning. I love y'all. I hope y'all are doing real good. Real quick, uh, before we get into this video, because I've seen over the past couple of days, seen some real like nasty stuff, nasty people, people going at each other in just a extremely disrespectful way. Um, please, like, pr protect your energy, protect your peace. Um, if you see the way a conversation is headed, or you know somebody is a sort of a repeat offender, um, just leave it alone. It, it, it ain't worth it. I promise you it ain't worth it. Um, I know as fans, like fans, we watch the games and get excited after a win, uh, can be frustrating after a loss, but it is, it's never any need to get personal with anything. It's 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 not that serious never has been never will be and you just you, you see so many different people just getting personal and different stuff and it's not worth it so please like i say protect your energy protect your peace just chill just vibe it's a game it's for entertainment purposes and it'll be okay man i just uh, i just just saw a lot of ugly stuff but anyway um we got some Ravens injury updates uh, that we got yesterday, and um, we we were out, me and the fam, we were out all day yesterday, so that's why we didn't do no update then, uh, but we're here now. So, um, first and foremost, uh, Rashad Bateman, oh <laughs> yeah, Rashad Bateman, oh man, because um, he, he had a rough game on, um, on Sunday, uh, and then he was injured during the game. Uh, and then he was on the sideline kind of bouncing on uh, one foot at a time. But he did it with both feet. So I was thinking, okay, Rashad Bateman, he, he's straight. But he didn't see Rashad Bateman again. And I was like, ooh, okay. And then Harbaugh said, yeah, Harbaugh yesterday said, he, he said he ain't tell Rashad Bateman. He said Rashad Bateman told him. Rashad Bateman told him. I said, all right, Coach Bateman, let me call you Coach Bateman. Oh, uh, but no, man. Uh, Rashad Bateman told him that he's day to day uh, with a, a foot injury. Now, after the game, of course, it was posted. Rashad Bateman was posted being seen in a walking boot, and I was like, "Yikes!" That was right after the game. Some people that were there took a picture, a video of him walking in a walking boot. Walking boots are never good. Walking boots are very scary. Now, now they can be extremely precautionary, but Walking boots are never good. Hopefully, it's very precautionary. But me, I'm not expecting him to play against the Bengals. Uh, against who they play after that? I think the Giants. And then after the week seven, I forget what the schedule is after the Giants. But I'm not expecting him for the next couple of weeks. But that's just me. I'm not a doctor. I'm not on the team medical staff or anything like that. But my expectations for him playing this week are lower than low. Um, it'd be a nice surprise, but I don't think it's happening. It's happening. Now we'll of course we'll start to know tomorrow, um, because tomorrow is when they return to practice. Um, so if Rashad Bateman is present and practicing, great. I, I would love, I would absolutely love to be wrong in this situation. Don't think I will be, but I would love to be wrong. I would love to come on here and say, hey, I was wrong about Rashad Bateman's foot injury. Hey, he is practicing, so let's get it, baby. But we'll see. Just a matter of waiting and watching and hoping. <laughs> oh boy, Whew. this is this is scary territory right here. Um, but anyway, uh, that's with Rashad Bateman. So again, practice will tell the story with him. Now, um, somebody who is supposed to be returning to practice, Mr. Harbaugh said. Uh, well, first with Ty about Bow Tyus Bowser. He said Tyus Bowser is close. Um, <laughs> hey, what does that mean, Hobbs? Uh, if he's close, we'll see. We'll see. Tyus Bowser, I mean, the expectation for him, um, especially with him, was that he would be ready for week five. Um, and the Ravens, like, if he's ready, don't play no games. Just, I know you don't like giving uh, the injury reports, the injury updates and whatever. If he's ready, go ahead and take him off the, the pup list. Take, take, take him off the pup list, please. Or if he's, if he's on injury reserve. Either way, he missed his four games. Take him off for whatever he's on right now. Uh, because the, the Ravens need all the help that they can get in the pass rush department. 
They oh they need it so bad. Um, Tyus, so Tyus Bowser should be back any day now. Um, I'm for me, I'm expecting him to be ready, and, and I'm expecting him to be there uh, on Wednesday practicing with the team. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. But Justin Houston with the groin injury, hopefully he'll be back too. Oh man, cause they it's it is rough, man. It's rough that that pass rush. It, it is rough. So it'd be it'd be nice. It'd be so nice if Ravens can get both Tyus Bowser and Justin Houston back this week. Oh, that would be sweet. Um, he did talk about how Charlie Kolar, he ain't ready yet. Um, so it's like okay, cool. Uh, so we just keep waiting. Um, I don't think he said anything on a Jabo, but I don't think anything anybody was expecting anything on a Jabo this early anyway. Um, but the big one, another big one, Gus Edwards. He said Gus Edwards will start practicing. And I was like, okay, Gus is going to start practicing. Um, and that's nice. Now, we remember J.K. Dobbins, he started practicing too. Uh, but he didn't play for the first two games. Yeah, the first two games because he played uh, against the Patriots and against the Bills, of course. Um, so just because Gus Edwards is starting to practice does not mean, or well, is expected to start practicing, does not mean that he'll play against the Bengals, doesn't even mean that he'll play against the Giants, but, um, since he'll be, well, he'll be expected, uh, to come off the PUP list. When you come off the PUP list, um, then you can, you can start practice. You have a 21 day window to where, uh, you can start practicing. Um, and then at the end of those 21 days, the team has to make a decision on you. They have to. It's like, all right, you have to make the decision on if this player, if they're going to be added to the active roster or if they're not ready, then they go to injury reserve for the year and they can't come back at all. They're done. It's a wrap. So with the way that they changed the rules for the pup list this year, it's like it was like a gift and a curse. Because they changed the rules for the pup list to where um, when you get added to the list, you have to miss at least four games. So this is a four game minimum. And then that's when you can start practicing again. Now, it used to be six games. Now, the way that it's a gift is that, hey, somebody misses the first four games and they're healthy. They can come back. It's like, hey, only had to miss four games instead of six like it used to be. So, hey, I'm, I'm in a clear. I'm good. But at the same time, the way that it's a curse Somebody misses the first four games, and they're not all the way ready yet. Uh, and the team has to make a decision sooner rather than two games later um, to start the whole 21-day process. And if the person just ain't ready yet, then it's like before, the maximum time that they had to get ready was uh, about week nine. Because you missed the first six weeks, then you got week seven, eight, and nine. That's 21 days. Well, normally 21 days unless you got some crazy schedule. But y'all get what I'm saying. They have 21 days. And then it's like, okay, boom, you come back. But now uh, it's week seven. So it's, it, you missed the first four weeks and then six, seven, eight. It's like, okay, I'm, no, five, six, seven, I'm tripping. I said six, seven, eight, I skipped the whole week. But you missed the first four weeks and then five, six, seven, those, those 21 days. It's like, okay, what's up? So that's how it, it could be a curse depending on how injured the person is uh, or not. But with Gus Edwards... Uh, his, the injury that he got was, uh, I mean, both injuries were terrible, but his injury was less than, I guess he had complications or something. Um, his injury was less severe than J.K. Dobbins. Both really bad injuries, but his injury was less severe than J.K. Dobbins. And a lot of us were wondering, like, man, what's going on with Gus Edwards? What's, what's, what's happening? Uh, and the expectation was that he, the earliest that he was going to be back was like mid, around midseason. Um, so it looks like they're still on pace for that. Um, but with Gus Edwards, uh, I, I think they're going to be just like they were with J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins was healthy, but they were like, no, not yet. <laughs> we taking our time. Um, he was on the roster, but they were like, no, no, we're taking our time. Um, so I would expect the same thing with a Gus Edwards. Um, I would expect them to really max this thing out. Like, have I think they will maximize those three weeks 
and then activate him at the the very end of it. Um, and then uh, they could even be a little extra cautious too uh, with his return to where they could have him on the active roster, but he may be inactive. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But then it's like, man, with the timing of everything, because now Justice Hill, he got his, uh, I think what they said, it was a hamstring injury. So he could be out a couple of weeks, depending on how that goes. Um, and that's tough, man, because Justice Hill, he was doing a good job, man, especially these past couple of weeks. He was coming into his own and just really doing his thing. And now, boom, an injury. Um, so timing is everything. It's like, oh, Gus is getting ready to come back in a while, in my opinion. Um, and then Justice Hill, he goes out. It's like, oh. Now, Kenyon Drake, uh, I'm sure he'll be active um, against the Bengals. Uh, Mike Davis. And, and again, when they signed Mike Davis, um, it, it did bring up, a, 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 it may have been a sign from the Ravens. Like, ooh, okay, well, we're signing Mike Davis. Maybe Gus, Gus may have had some issues with the recovery, may have had a little setback or whatnot. Uh, so we're going to sign a, a bruising type running back. So. Anyway, that's that. And then with Ronnie Stanley, uh, I mean, status is the same. We'll see. That's that's all it is. We'll see. We just waiting. Um, so that's that. So Ravens with some uh, significant updates. Um, so getting some reinforcements back, uh, but also losing um, one of their wide receivers. Oh well, possibly it's day to day. So hey, if I, if I was a doctor, but based off of me and my medical experience. I would say no for Bateman this week, but hey, again, I'm no doctor. So hopefully, like Bateman, won't be because the injury won't be too serious and I can be dead wrong. But again, hopefully, like Bateman, won't be when it comes to uh, Sunday night and moving forward too. I'm out.